Hey everyone, it's me again, Mr. Mario. Decided to make another video. The um, reason why I'm making this video is because I just finished playing my first game, well, online game of Modern Warfare 3, ever. And, um, I mean, I've played survival a little bit. I messed around uh, offline, and I played the single player. Uh, this is, like, when the game came out. But I never played it online. But I just tried to give, decided to give it a try because I had it on me, and I'm like, eh, you know, let's try it out. Now, this isn't a Call of Duty rant video. Don't get me wrong. But there's been people, because I've talked about, you know, possibly doing commentaries and all that over game footage, which I've been wanting to do more, but it's just, I need to find the time to record, is my problem. Now, the thing is, and hold on, I'm just gonna move my LCD display down here so I don't get distracted, but there we go. So, people have asked, why don't I do Modern Warfare 3 commentaries, or they say, you should do them, you should just record them, and you know, they'll get you a bunch of views and all that. Yes, they'll get me views, but... I don't want to record something that I don't like. Um, there's two reasons why I'm not going to do Call of Duty commentaries. One, well, multiple actually, but he, okay, I'll just name them off. Number one, everybody and their grandmother does them. Okay, I don't want to do a Call of Duty commentary just because everyone else does them. Two, I don't like the games. Um, the last real good Call of Duty game that I still enjoy to this day is Call of Duty 4, and that's it. Um, World of War was garbage to me. Uh, I hate that game, but um, I will say I do own them, because I'll, I'll put it like this, okay? Call of Duty 4, I think, I'm thinking I, I owned it twice. Um, the first time, I bought it from a friend, and then we ended up trading later, and then, or no, it was something like, oh, I'm trying to remember. And then I think I might have got a second copy, and one of my friends ended up stealing it. So I think I got... Each Call of Duty game, for some reason, I've bought multiple times. I don't know why. But, um... And these are just the main ones that people play online. I'm not talking about Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3. But Call of Duty 4, I still have to this day. Um, World at War, I got for free. Modern Warfare 2, let's see. I bought it when it came out from a friend for like 45 bucks. And I sold that shit like two weeks after it came out. I played it for the first three days, and then it collected dust, and I was like, you know, I should sell this when it's still worth something. And then, let's see, the second time I got it, I I think I paid $5 for it, and I ended up selling it for 30 And the third time I got it, and the last time, um, I just got it for free, and I decided to keep it. And Black Ops, let me think, I think the first time I got it, I got it for free, and I then I ended up selling it for like 40 bucks. And then the second time I got it, um, I went to this one place and I was able to negotiate and get it for 10 bucks. Because somebody wanted to play zombies with me and I was like, you know, $10 for Black Ops Zombies, it's not like it's going to break the bank, so I might as well do it. Anyways, now that we have that out of the way, I don't own Modern Warfare 3. I'm borrowing it right now. But, as I was saying, I, just, I don't like the series. The last good installment in the series for me was Call of Duty 4. And that was it. Uh, I just played Black Ops, and not Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3. And before when I played it, I said it's a exact replica of Modern Warfare 2. And my opinion is still pretty much the same, except for one thing. It handles a little bit like Call of Duty 4. So I do like it a little bit for that. But honestly, to me, it's still not worth buying. And... I mean, if I can find the game for, like, 15 bucks, I'll probably get it. I'll be honest. But, like, you know, 40 50 $60, I don't want to pay for it. Because I'm not even going to play it that much. Um, but it just, to me, it feels this, like the same thing as... It, it looks... The best way to put it... There was one guy on YouTube who said, It looks like Modern Warfare 2, but it plays like Call of Duty 4. And that is one of the best ways to put it. Um, but really, even with that, even though I loved Call of Duty 4 so much, I will still go back to Call of Duty 4 just because it is the most balanced out of all of them. And I'm playing on this crap TV right now because I'm in a hotel, but the game looks the same as <laughs> Call of Duty 4 to me. I'll be honest, the game came out in 2011, Call of Duty 4 came out in 2007, they look the same. I've played enough Call of Duty 4 to know what I'm talking about. 
Now, I did play the game originally on an HD TV, and the graphics didn't really impress me. It looked the same as Modern Warfare 2, so it's just... I'm trying not to make this a rant video, but I'm just explaining why I personally don't want to play Modern Warfare 3, and I don't want to make videos on it. The last reason, and the weakest reason, is just because I'm terrible at Call of Duty. I'm not that good at most games, I'll be honest. People might, like, people think I'm like a professional gamer and I'll whoop their ass at any game. It's like, no! If anything, I'm pretty terrible at every game I play. Uh, I play games for fun. Like, when I go through campaign modes and all that, I'll play on the easiest difficulty just because I want to get the story. Now, there are some games like the Halo series I always play on normal. But, um, and then there's some exceptions, like Darkness 2, I recently got 1,000 out of 1,000 on that, and that required me to beat on the hardest difficulty. But that was one of those games, it just, it was so fun, I wanted to get the 1,000 on it, and it was totally worth playing. And the hardest difficulty was not really that hard. Now, it might have helped that I already beat the game two times prior to that, and had a fully leveled up character. But, that's, that, that's a whole other thing, that's Darkness 2, we're talking about Modern Warfare 3. So, those are my reasons why I'm not going to be recording Modern Warfare 3 videos or doing commentaries over them. Uh, recap, <laughs> the TLDR part. Um, as I said, I suck at the game. Every single person and their grandmother does Modern Warfare 3 commentaries, so I don't want to do it just because everyone else does it. And... I just don't really like the series that much. So, whoop de doo um, I'll definitely be trying to do more game commentaries over other games. But as for Modern Warfare 3, I don't know. If I'm playing it, you might... And I, I just said this on... Uh, I said it on Facebook, but like... The only thing good that I see out of Modern Warfare 3 is Kill Confirmed. I will admit, Kill Confirmed is pretty cool. So, and it's it's a pretty basic concept, but I don't know why, it's just fun. And I think the reason why I played Kill Confirmed was because I watch a lot of Call of Duty videos. Like, not actually watch them, but it's like, like, it's Lupo. He does a whole bunch of Call of Duty commentaries, and his commentaries are awesome. But what happens is I load up the video, and then I just minimize it, and I listen to his commentary. But sometimes, if I'm really bored enough, I will watch the gameplay footage. And he plays a lot of Kill Confirmed, and Woody's Gamertag also plays a lot of Kill Confirmed. So that's what kind of made me want to play that set list, is just because it looked pretty damn fun. And the concept is very simple, but it was just fun to me. So, if you ever see me on Modern Warfare 3, it will be only for Kill Confirmed, that's it, but don't expect me to be playing it, you know, like, 10 hours a day or anything, or even 10 hours a year. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Just want to say, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this, uh, I'm, I'm never going to do a Modern Warfare 3 commentary, and so help me God, if I end up doing a Modern Warfare 3 commentary... Like, just on my own, like, if I get featured on someone's, that's different. But if I do one on my own, I'm gonna make sure I have a really, really, really good excuse for doing it. Because I like to stick to my word. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate all you. Just, you know, keep doing what you do best. Just watch my videos and help me out. <laughs>